where I used to work at over here in Lake Paris. Right now I'm at the Hunters parking lot right here. The lake where I used to have it, see where I was driving on the bottom of the lake was actually in that spot. And I used to drive from the other area in the front of the lake, way over there. We'll drive along the side there, and I'm showing you along the bottom of the lake, right around this area here. That's where I live, I live over here in the Rancho Blago area. He's real curious about what I'm doing, mama or the dad. It's pretty small, so it might be the dad. where I was working at, we have a different point of view. It was all down here, it was all underwater. As I was showing you before, but look how it's all like, even all the fish traps are all in that area where those, past those buoys before they went there before. There's the island that I was working over. And you can see when I was drowning the area that everything was really low, that that island was actually out of the water a little bit higher than it is now. And I would drive all the way down around the lake here. And I would drive and drone all those spots where the fish habitats are. You can see a boat right there, probably where there's a fish habitat at right now. Right around that area is where I was driving at right there, in this area here. I never really got to the island, but there was like a walkway you could barely get to there, but now it's all flooded in. So I just wanted to show you one more perspective of what I was doing. Some of the areas that the Cadroni can take you in places where you thought you'd never be is at a park like this at the bottom of the lake. Cadroni fish habitats, I mean, who would ever think that you would be doing this, but there's a need for it, looking at the lake level. Interesting to see what the fishing spots are going to be. Maybe later on there'll be some kind of booklet or something where all these GPS places will be where the fish will be. Who knows? You know. That was a 360 shot done by a Yukon. Anyway, see this here. We already did the drone all these pies already. Water just coming up right there. I mean, just right there. So as you can see, this area was not underwater when I came last week. As a matter of fact, you can see the tracks here. But when were we here last? Here's my tracks that we made. And we're parked over here. So, so that's what it looks like now. You know, it's getting kind of deep. And as you can see, you can't even step in it because it's really saturated. See that? So that's what it looks like now. This is what Lake Paris is starting to turn into. It's going to be a very nice area to fish later on. The water will be well above me. They say about where that ridge is at, maybe a little higher than that. So this is where it's going to be, where the fishing is going to be later on. It's going to be pretty hot. All right, then.